please like, hit that button, and please hit that button. Subscribe. Wait, what? That was cool. <laughs> Keep that in there, too. Wait, what? That was cool. No, no, no. I'm not keeping wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? That was Who's this? This is going to be... Oh, Greg Geraldo. Geraldo, Greg Geraldo. His roast collection, basically a compilation of all that stuff. That'd be good. When you guys can introduce it. I don't know what the name of it is. I mean, yeah. welcome back and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back and stuff. I think it's 60. Let's <laughs> take <laughs> <laughs> a 60 out of like... That was good. You bastard. 60, <laughs> Drop my iPod, man. iPod. Uh -oh. I think it's 60 out of like this, guys. <clears throat> Told you to do. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching. We have here Greg Geraldo. Is it Comedy? Geraldo or Geraldo? Geraldo, yeah. I think it's Geraldo. Might be Geraldo. 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 Geraldo is the dude with the mustache. No, that's the same. <laughs> and that's how you. I'll let you. I'll teach him when this is over, folks. Um. It's a good guy, though. This is gonna be his uh, compilation of, I guess, roasts when he's at different roasts. Mm -hmm. Um, talking trash shit to people. Uh, this was recommended by Ryan Hyatt. He's a subscriber. We appreciate you, man. Thank Ryan. You, Ryan. Ryan. Been with us for a minute now. He's been with us for a minute. Um. Guys, once again, if you have any suggestions, anything you want us to watch, react to, we'll, we'll react to anything. We don't care. We did some singers. Just send it. Now, if we don't like it, we're going to tell you we don't like it. So be prepared for that also. But whatever you send, we'll, we'll watch. It's a reaction channel. We're here to watch whatever and react to it. This is going to be Greg Geraldo Geraldo compilation. Let's see what it's about, guys. Let's get into it. Hope you like it. Hope we like it. Hope we like it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks a lot. Uh, Ron White, isn't he drunk? Everybody, give him a hand. Seriously. Totally. It looks like uh, Nick Nolte let himself go. How about a hand? Before I get to Foxworthy specifically, I want to talk about all the blue-collar guys. These guys are like, they're like rock stars. And by that, I mean old and boring and loaded with syphilis. The tour grows 15 million bucks, 15 million. You know, this is at a time when your fans have so many other entertainment options. You know, they, they could have stayed home and burned a cross or f their sisters or, you know what I mean? They had other choices, you know, but instead they got, they got all gussied up in their best who farted t-shirts and they, uh, they jumpstart the El Camino and they take the hard earned money that they made on an extra shift working to tilt the world or robbing a liquor store. And, you know, this is money they could have spent on abortions or crystal meth, and they come out. They, they, they make an extra effort to come out and see you guys. Abortion, hey. abortion, hey. and crystal meth. Oh, you guys coming out strong, he man. Said, jump start the El Camino. Yeah. Jump start. That dude started with abortions and crystal meth. No. So much money to put that money up. He said, jump start. Yo, come here. That was good. <laughs> yeah, they had a who farted t-shirt. <laughs> who farted t-shirt. And, and their best who farted t-shirt. Oh, God. So he, he's going in. He's going God, in. God damn. So mm -hmm. far, so good. Yeah, he's good so far. Shit. Now, uh, speaking, of, uh, speaking of abortions, uh, good to see Larry the Cable Guy here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get her done. <laughs> I saw Larry at the beach, because we hang out at the beach, me and Larry, and I, uh, I saw, from behind, all you see are rolls of fat and clumps and patches of hair. Your back looks like Lisa Lampanelli's <laughs> Seriously. Good to see uh, Bill Engvall here. Bill, he's a prolific bastard, man. He's got seven comedy CDs out. Without Bill, Sears would have no comedy section. <laughs> Seven CDs. Bill, did you ever think of just saying something unfunny without recording it? <laughs> now, uh, my friends from Tough Crowd are here, of course, oh, Colin Quinn, and uh, I noticed recently Blue Collar TV took over Tough Crowd's time slot, and uh, the network told Colin that viewers had a hard time understanding anything he said, and uh, so they replaced him with Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Now, my, my buddy Nick DiPaolo's here, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say Nick's just a big, dumb guinea. Anyway, on to our uh, guest of honor. <laughs> Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Jeff Foxworthy, Damn. folks. Uh, Damn. You know, Jeff has always been an original and an innovator. You know, back when everybody was doing corny, observational comedy, Jeff came up with the idea of doing it in a southern accent. <laughs> Very original. It's a good twist. You are to comedy what Wayne Brady is to black people. I've seen you dance. You ever watch that blue collar TV when he dances at the end? Holy <laughs> Remember how G.E. Smith, how spastic he looked on Saturday Night Live? You make him look like Barishnikov on ecstasy. You look like a Special Olympics at the finish line. <laughs> You've always stayed cutting edge, man. You really have. Uh, with that Keith Partridge haircut and that, that ferret growing on your lip. Jeez, that mustache should come with ass chaps and a nipple ring. What do you think? That was raw. That was raw. That was mean. That was mean. That was the. See, that was the. That was the. Yeah. The finish line. Yeah, that's what it was. He said that was the comedy right there. If that wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. It just been like okay. Because you visualize exactly. The finish line. You exactly. You visualize that little part. Yeah, that made it. That made it. Oh, God, man. With your wardrobe and that gay walrus mustache, you look like one of the village people on Casual Friday. You look like... Gay walrus mustache. You look like a guy Tonya Harding would in a 78 Nova. You put out 11 books, including a cookbook. You got greeting cards and slot machines. You're like the redneck Martha Stewart with a smaller... Oh, you are a billionaire. You're like Donald Trump without the funny TV show. I'm sorry, Seriously, Jeff, though, you're, you're a giant comedy star. You deserve your success. Dude, you got smaller dick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck dick? is wrong? We gotta do more roasts. This guy's good, man. This guy's yeah. good. We gotta do more roasts, dog. <laughs> These shits are more crazy. With a smaller dick. That was hard. That was, My God, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try to try to keep it up together. And, uh, and look, you made enough money that you don't have to live in the South, but you choose to. So you're, uh, you're, you're the real deal. Congratulations, man. Thank you, Tranny Bonaducci. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> McDonald Lucille Ball's corpse and pushed it down a flight of oh, stairs. Corpse! Corpse! He said corpse! Oh, he said said corpse! He 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 said He said corpse! He said corpse! He said corpse! He said corpse! He said Holy I, shit. I can't. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> but take corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you want Ronald McDonald and Fuck Lucille Ball's corpse, dead corpse, corpse dead and corpse. kick it down the stairs. <laughs> oh, God. There's no need for that hatred, man. There's no need for hatred like that. Because <laughs> that's just so far. I heard dead corpse and I lost it. Lucille <laughs> <laughs> Ball's dead but corpse. Listen, yeah, that, that was the shit. funniest part there. But then he <laughs> added, <laughs> kicked it down the stairs. <laughs> God. I didn't hear that part because I blacked out. I didn't hear that part because I blacked oh, out. Oh, my God. Oh, we should have been trying to laugh on this. No, this dude. Die. No, no. We, we, hey, we, we have to pretty. do more roasts, man. We have to do more roasts. This roast. dude. Jesus me. Christ, man. It's stuck yeah. thousands of times, but you're still sad to look at. You're like the AIDS quilt. <laughs> what a night. A couple of trolls, a fairy, and a giant all going after a sunken-eyed little monster who's obsessed with jewelry. It's like the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the great Carl Reiner's here. This is very exciting. Yes. Carl. Carl! Damn. Carl, you're a legend, and you're you're awesome in Ocean's Eleven. But seriously, why would you do a movie with Brad Pitt and George Clooney? You're ugly when they're not standing next to you. <laughs> Brad Pitt and you, it was like Beauty and the Deceased. <laughs> you are such a comedy icon that Joan named one of those shitty watches she sells on QVC after you. It's uh, it's the Carl Reiner edition. It's got liver spotted hands, and it's running out of time. <laughs> Robin Quivers, Robin, you look like a syrup bottle. And 
friend. Oh. I don't mean to sound crass, Shit. but you must have an enormous <laughs> You're like Aunt Vagina. Seriously. Mario Cantone is here. Mario, you are one vagina. tiny, loudmouth fairy. You're the only guy who takes a stepladder into a glory hole. You're oh, damn. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your father must have been devastated when you came out of the cupboard. Damn. Cupboard. Brad <laughs> Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond, huh? Holy shit. You are a f***ing monster, Brad. How'd you ever get your head so far up Ray Romano's ass with those bolts in your neck? <laughs> and Whitney, Whitney Cummings is here for some reason. I, I, guess, uh, I guess since Kathy and Joan have huge gay followings, we needed someone with no following. Oh, Whitney, yeah. Whitney's a girl who obviously knows the answer to the question, hey, who do you have to blow to get on one of these roasts? <laughs> And speaking of degrading yourself sexually to get ahead in show business, Tom Arnold is here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, look at Rose. Damn, Take time out from being Roseanne's ex-husband to be here. Spaz. Tom, you twitchy spaz. <laughs> Joan actually named another one of her shitty watches after you, too. It's the Tom Arnold that never stops ticking and used to come in a giant hairy box. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, finally we get to comedy legend and irritating Jewish lady, Gilbert Gottfried is here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, shit. Gilbert. Yeah. Holy shit, Gilbert. You look like you smell like pee. And you look. Gilbert's famously like cheap. Like uh, I'm impressed you're here, Gilbert. Genius. You know, because uh, when you do these genius. things, you got to buy new clothes. You got to take a week off from work. But you showed up. You tightened your belt and you came. You're like David Carradine. Oh, and, oh man. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, a sympathetic figure, if ever there was one. Yeah. And now it really is my honor to talk about comedy great Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, everybody. This is exciting. Joan, you are one irritating Jew broad. The first time I heard your voice, my foreskin fell off. <laughs> what have you done to your upper lip? Did you blow a beehive? Holy shit. The last time I saw something that inflated, it was floating over Yankee Stadium. You look like Steven you Tyler. Blow the life a beehive. Oh my god. Seriously, I oh mean, you're not the only one here. All these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you blow a beehive? That shit is gold. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. That dude. Oh, did you blow oh, a beehive? Man. Dude. I gotta steal that shit. Damn. That's that crazy, was good. dog. That was good. All right. Oh my god, man. All these rubber face monsters. What the f? What, what, what goes into people's heads out here? Why? Did you really? Really? Is that good? What, how much worse could your real face look than that clown mask you've had welded on your head? You, you used to look your age. Now you don't even look your species. You, you, you once said you succeeded by saying what everyone else is thinking, and that's not true. It's not true. I never heard you say, holy shit, what the f*** did I do to my face? I look like a surprised catfish. <laughs> Joe, Damn. you really are an absolutely incredible uh, talent. You're absolutely hysterical. Every comic I know respects you. That's a God's honest truth. Everyone thinks you're hilarious. I think you're the best. And at your age, you're still relevant, still cool. And uh, shit, you even got a, a boob job just a few years ago. You're every man's dream. And, and by that, I mean every man that dreams of titty fucking a crocodile. <laughs> oh, <laughs> congratulations, Joe. Oh, my yeah. God. Everybody, Lisa Lampanelli, keep it going for that guy. Wasn't he funny? <laughs> Seriously, wasn't he hilarious? I love the the pink camouflage, Lisa. You're like General Fatten. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at you, you fat. Who knew Lane Bryant had an army? Lisa actually has a lot in common with that octo mom, that woman that gave birth to all those babies. She's never given birth, but she has had 80 fingers inside her at the same time. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> 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 look at 
biggest pack of slobs up here. Gary Busey's here, kind of. How about I know. Gary? I know. Yeah. I know. Gary, I, know. I just flew in from Lobotomy Island. <coughs> Jesus, Gary, you horse-faced lunatic. You look like you look like Nick Nolte <laughs> the Clydesdale. <laughs> your teeth look like a row of urinals. Look at yourself. Every time you talk, I want to piss in your mouth. <laughs> and I don't, uh... Warren, what the hell are you doing here? Holy shit, Warren was, he was great on Dancing with the Stars. He came in second and then celebrated by dragging his partner to the top of the Empire State Building. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's great to see Toby Keith. Toby, I'm glad you could take time out from spitting on Mexicans to be here, Toby. Uh, Toby, you put the big in bigot. I loved your last song, Get Out of My Country, You Camel Jockey, Wetback Faggy <laughs> Shit You. And, uh, Marsha Brady's here, Maureen yeah. McCormick, huh? How about that? Holy shit. Marsha Brady, you wrote in your book that you used to trade sex for drugs. Holy shit. As a kid, I used to fantasize about having sex with you. Who knew all I needed was an eight ball in a bus station bathroom? <laughs> And speaking of bathroom stalls, where's that redneck fruit Jeff Foxworthy? There he is. Jeff, you look like Magnum P.I. with AIDS. <laughs> My buddy uh, Nick DiPaolo is here. Nick, look at you, you big hunched over guinea. You're like Fonzie with spina bifida. <laughs> and Reno Collier, I don't know who or what that is. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess he's part of that next wave of lowbrow dipshits that'll make me want to kill myself or... Or maybe he's just here so Lisa Lampanelli wouldn't be the only fat lesbian hack on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, on to uh, Larry, the cable guy. This, this is exciting, I gotta tell you. I I've never roasted a fake character before. Maybe next year we can roast SpongeBob SquarePants. Larry's, Larry's whole act is a sham, like the Bible or the Holocaust. <laughs> Some people say Larry's only successful because he's pandering to the lowest common denominator and blatantly and non-ironically exploiting people's racist and homophobic tendencies. Don't listen to these people, Larry. They're just bitter and jealous and right. <laughs> you inbred hillbilly. You've been inside more farm animals than Purina. <laughs> You're like the Trojan army. You're big, patriotic, and you both came inside a giant horse. Yeah. You gravy-sweating yeah. cousin f Larry f***ed his first cousin when he was 16, and his last one about an hour ago. <laughs> you lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem and another 10 when you shaved your back. <laughs> How the f*** are you so popular? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, this one finally broke my back. Your fans can't even afford cable. They're not coming because they think you're funny. They're just, they've never seen a cable guy. You could have come up with other characters your fans have never seen, like Larry the Dentist, or Larry the Librarian, or Larry the High School Diploma. Damn. Larry, delay, delay, Larry the Dentist. You make more money in a week than I'll make in my life, and, uh, and that feels good, I gotta tell you. You say you've never done drugs, but watching your success has put me in rehab twice. So, uh, thanks for ripping my soul out, you hillbilly He's <laughs> good. Hey, that was pretty fucking funny, man. He's good, man. Oh, man. Ain't on he these went, people. He went in. Man, man he went ham. He's good. He's good. He's Guys, good. once again, man, if you want to see more roasts, let us know in the <laughs> comment section. Larry Librarian. Uh, that was good. Like the video Fuck. if you like the video, guys, man. Hopefully you, got, hopefully you got some laughs out of this just like we did, man. We did. We appreciate you yeah. stopping by as always. <laughs> We'll catch you guys on the next video, man. Just thank you once again Thanks for, for watching. Man. Appreciate we appreciate it, it, man. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time, man.